is up guys so as you know I went and picked the old Camaro up the other night um, made it home did good runs and drives good and it got a uh, fella's been doing some uh, little touch-ups here and there on the old girl She's trying to class her up a little bit and um, hopefully make it look a little nicer but don't mind my hair I still haven't had a hairdo it's supposed to happen tomorrow but yeah anyway Let's show you what I got so far. The first thing you might notice, we got some more cleaning to do. But I got the door panels looking good. Got the old headliner ripped out of her. We're uh, taking a stab at reupholstering that. And if you look around the bottom, it's got that black stripe. Well, it was starting to fade and look real bad. So we're just touching touching her up with some black again if you look right here you know these Camaros look so much better when the headlight buckets are black that one I just painted so you can see the glossiness but this side it's flashed off so you can see you know matte black looks a lot better but we got this side all re-blacked here looks looks much uh, much nicer look at yeah, see all that fresh black going that I haven't did the bumper yet, but that yeah, that looks nicer. And uh we also did the wheels there. Sandblasted those real quick the other night and uh painted them black. That looks much nicer. I uh painted the lug nuts too, but I don't think that was a very good idea. So we might soak those in some paint thinner, make them chrome again. I think it'll look better with that lip. But if you look here, there's my uh exhaust over the sweeper pipes I built. I'll put a clip in there. We had to fix the cobblement. Hey, what are you doing? I'm making a video, Bubba. Why? Because I want to. And she was looking real good back here, but uh, Why, Daddy? the fella's dog, my dog, Daddy, for whatever what? reason, got a little mad. So we're going to have to fix that. Kind of sucks, Daddy, but it is what it is. Daddy, Huh? Yeah, it can't stay like that. Got that all cleaned up. Ooh. Look how chipped up she is. Get all the man. Does that look nicer? Yeah, make sure you don't get in here. There. I'll go back there. Keep going. There, yeah, we got that touched up. You know, it really is a shame that the guy's dog, my dog, had to do this. Got some teeth marks in there. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna have to sand that off and uh, do something with it. That's a that's just bad luck. But somebody done backed into something with it right there. So I think I might just I'm gonna buff on the rest of the car here and touch up the spots. But I'm thinking, guys, just gonna repaint the back bumper now. I don't know. 
Well, guys, we got her on the lift today, and so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this back bumper, considering you know it became a chew toy here. But we run a little pinstriping along where we touched up our black there. Just some generic, I think they call it like truck stripe or something. I got it out of zone, but I think mean, you know what? Ah, cleaned her up quite a bit, made her look really fucking slick, I think. Classed her up a tidbit. But we're uh, gonna get the wheels off it. And the underneath of this car's in really, really good shape. So we're gonna give her a little uh, spritz of black paint just to keep her looking nice. And uh, um, yeah, you know, keep her from going any farther. And we're probably gonna fix this. I don't know. We'll see. Now, see, the trick is with this undercoating is you just want to do light spritzes. You don't want to really hammer it on there because. This car has already been undercoated its whole life, and it is in good shape. And you just want to, you know, black everything up to highlight that it's in good shape. You don't want to hammer that undercoating right to it, because if you ever try to get rid of the car, somebody might get the impression that you're trying to hide rust, which isn't the case. So it's just a nice light light coats there see we just dusted a little bit on that wheel well a little bit of silver paint on the rotor don't worry about this i'll clean off of course we gotta paint the caliper chevy orange so i don't want that center piece since i have no center caps silver i think it'll look better and i decided i didn't like the uh black lug nuts so here's the silver ones i'm gonna put them back on well there we just spritzed a little bit of primer on the bumper. We sanded it down, filled the dog bites with a little body filler. Right there, there's that big old gaff mark. <coughs> it ain't perfect, but it's close enough. This isn't really the right way to do this project. Normally, you would pull the old bumper cover off, but um, I don't feel like it. So, here we go. Well, there you go. I painted it. I pulled that center section of masking tape so that way uh, paint wouldn't stick to it and peel it. That bumper cover has been painted before. <laughs> Whatever feller masked that black didn't do a very nice job. But that's okay because we don't want it to look better than the rest of the car. Which it's gonna. There's no way around it. Um, But yeah. I went into town hoping to get an aerosol can mixed. You can't even tell where the doggy chewed on it no more. I mean, there's a couple of spots I missed here and there, but it's shiny and it looks better. The rest of the car has been painted before and it don't look too great, but we're making, we're working on it. We're getting it there. We got that bumper cover. I'm looking now. It might not match a hundred percent. See, fella, we paint before got a little run right there, but. Well, the wheels look nicer like that. And we got that pinstripe on. We redid that black. God, that looks good. She's going to look all right when she's done, I think. I didn't really want to do that bumper, but like I said, I went into town earlier hoping to get an aerosol can mixed. And apparently, there's a national um, pandemic right now on aerosol cans. Because you can't find them anywhere. It's like... um they carry the coronavirus or something we got some dig marks here and here but i don't think we're gonna worry so much about those i have a plan for this um yeah so anyways that's that for today got a special present for you tomorrow long story you sure i keep getting sidetracked here but nobody could mix an aerosol can locally today so I had to get a pint of single stage paint mixed and uh, put it in the old gun, shoot it. Got a little imperfection right here from where that big old dig mark was, but I didn't notice it until I put paint on it. Like I said, I'm not a professional at this, and it's just a quick repair, but if you remember right, we got a 
You gotta mask all that off down there. Paint it black anyway after it dries. So a lot less. I can always sand on it a little bit more once, you know, because that's gonna be black. But long story short, I think we're gonna call it a day. Alright guys, I'm sweaty, dirty, tired. Oh. Apparently it looks like I got something in my eye. I'll dig that out when I get home. But I got a haircut tonight. So that'll be a treat for you guys the next time, next video I do. I won't look homeless as much. And um, in the next video, I got a little present surprise for you here. Um, it has to do with this car. It's getting done tomorrow, but I don't know when I'm going to have time to put this video out. Or the next one. Or the next one. But anyway, I gotta go get some stuff done that doesn't involve this stuff. So, as always, stay sexy. Have a nice day.